हे गागल व्हाट्सअप ओ हाय टॉगल टुडे इन क्लास वी लर्न हाउ टू पुट अप अ न्यू स्क्रीन सेवर ऑन द कंप्यूटर बट आई जस्ट कॉन्ट सीम टू डू इट नाउ but google you can put up a new screen saver by simply going to the desktop desktop uh, what's that google it seems it's time for you to revise some concepts once again yes toggle okay google let's first recall what a desktop is when you switch on your computer the first screen that you see after the windows software has loaded is the desktop screen okay now i remember the desktop contains small pictures that have names goggle can you tell me what these small pictures are called uh uh huh the small pictures that you see on the desktop are called icons an icon can represent a folder a file or a program you can open a folder a file or a program by double clicking on their icons okay but what is that big image in the background the background image that you see on the desktop is called the wallpaper okay got that but what is a screen saver the new images that you see when your computer screen has remained idle for some time is known as a screen saver okay but how do i change the screen saver of my computer yes let's do that now to change the screen saver of your computer first click on start and then select control panel the control panel window will appear on your desktop click the personalization option or a much simpler way is to right click the desktop which will open the shortcut menu then select personalize the personalization window appears from this window you can change the screen saver and the wallpaper yes yes this was the window i used in class today to change the screen saver okay so let's first see how to change the screen saver on the personalization window click screen saver this will open the screen saver settings dialog box on your desktop Select the screen saver that you want to apply from the screen saver drop-down list. In the wait box, specify the time in minutes. Click apply and then click on okay. That wasn't too hard, Toggle. Now can you tell me how to change the wallpaper? Sure, Goggle. Open the personalization window again. Now In the personalization window, click on desktop background. The desktop background window will appear on your desktop. You can select the desired background from the picture location list. Wow, there are so many images. Can I select all these? Yes, Goggle, you can select more than one background here. To apply these changes, click save changes. You will then return to the personalization window. Now click on the close button of the personalization window. The picture you have selected appears as the background of the desktop. Thanks Toggle. Now I know how to change both the wallpaper as well as the screen saver. You are most welcome Goggle. Happy to help. Are you okay goggle you have been staring at the ceiling for quite some time what's the matter i've been trying to copy a file from this folder to this one here how do i do that toggle there are many ways of doing it but before we learn how to do that do you know what's windows explorer windows explorer no windows explorer is a program that helps you in viewing and managing files and folders All right, but how does it help toggle? 
First, open Windows Explorer by clicking Start. Then go to All Programs. Then to Accessories and finally click on Windows Explorer. What you see now is the Windows Explorer window. Ok, look Toggle, it is divided into two parts. Yes, it is always divided into two parts called panes. The left pane displays drives and folders and the right one displays files or folders in the selected folder or drive. Toggle, how can I use Windows Explorer to manage files and folders? Hold on, I'll tell you. But first let me show you how to view the contents of a drive or folder. To view the contents of a drive or folder, simply click once on any drive or folder in the left pane to see its contents. OK! And to see the content inside a folder in the right pane. To see the content inside a folder in the right pane, you should double click on that folder or file. Oh, that was easy. Now I can view all my files and folders. Goggle, can I change the name of a file or a folder? Yes, you can, Goggle. Let me show you how. To rename a file or folder, in the right pane, click once to choose the file or folder you wish to rename. Click Organize and select Rename. Or else, you can right-click the file or folder you want to rename and select Rename. Suppose you want to rename this folder as Assignment. Then type the new name in the highlighted area and press enter. You will notice that the name of the folder has changed. Thanks Toggle! Now I can rename my files and folders whenever I require. You are welcome Goggle. Anything else you want to know? One more thing Toggle. Please tell me how to create a new folder. Sure Goggle. To create a new folder, in the left pane of the Windows Explorer screen, click to choose the folder in which you want to create a new folder. Then click New Folder. Or in the right pane of the Windows Explorer screen, right click to open the shortcut menu. Bring the pointer to the New option. Now select Folder. If you want to create a new folder inside another folder in the right pane, you will have to open that folder first. A new folder will appear in the right pane of the screen. Wow! There's the new folder. If you want to rename this folder, type in, say, Projects and press Enter. You will find that a folder named Projects has been created in the right pane of the Windows Explorer screen. OK! Now I got it! Thanks! Now I can create as many folders as I want. Toggle, thanks to you, now I know how to view a folder create a folder and rename a folder. But now I come to my original question of how to copy a file. Well Goggle, you can copy both files and folders and you can move them as well. Ok, how do we do that? To copy or move a file or folder, click to choose the file or folder to be copied or moved. Next, click Organize and then Copy to copy a file or folder or cut to move a file or folder. Alternatively, you can right click the file or folder to be copied and click on copy or cut option from the shortcut menu. Now click the folder where you want the file or folder to be copied or moved. Click organize paste or you may choose to right click the destination folder and click paste in the shortcut menu. You will find the file or folder copied or moved to the destination folder. That's cool Toggle. Now I know how to do it. I suppose we can also delete a file or a folder that we no longer need. Absolutely Goggle. To delete a file or folder, click the file or folder to be deleted. Click Organize and then select Delete. Or else, you can right-click the file or folder to be deleted and click Delete from the shortcut menu. A message box will appear asking for confirmation. Click Yes if you are sure that you want to delete the file or folder. You will find that the file or folder has been deleted. That's great Toggle! But where do the deleted folders or files go? 
When a folder or a file is deleted, it moves to the recycle bin. You can view it by clicking the recycle bin icon on your desktop. Thanks Toggle. Now I know so much about how to use Windows Explorer. Bye for now. I have my football class. Bye Goggle. See you later.